The Improved Outer Tactical Vest, or IOTV, introduced by the U.S. military in 2007, marks a notable improvement in body armor technology. It provides enhanced protection and modularity for soldiers in combat. Initially developed during the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts, the IOTV replaced the older Outer Tactical Vest, or OTV. Key features of the IOTV include better weight distribution, an emergency quick release system, and improved ballistic protection. Despite the adoption of newer systems like the Modular Scalable Vest, or MSV, starting in 2018, the IOTV continues to be used by various U.S. military units and allied forces, highlighting its durability and widespread use. This review will examine the latest generation of the IOTV, the Gen 4. Over its decade-plus service, the IOTV has been criticized for its weight, particularly by dismounted infantry. Meanwhile, the commercial market has trended towards lighter, more minimalist plate carriers. For many military personnel, the IOTV is their primary experience with body armor. This raises important questions. Do scalable systems like the IOTV remain relevant today, and how do they compare to the latest commercial innovations? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. Format. For newcomers to this series, our videos aren't standard reviews. We develop them to answer frequent customer questions about integrating our Ice Age ecosystem's thermoregulation and hydration tools with various plate carriers available today. Our approach is strictly empirical. We present objective, quantifiable data supported by instruments and documentation whenever possible. We strive to avoid any subjective or qualitative information. We don't share conjecture or opinions. We aim to provide the data necessary to make informed decisions, empowering you to reach your highest potential. This is what building a superhuman future is all about. Relationship Disclosures We have never had and do not currently have any business relationship with any of the IOTV manufacturers, of which there are many. We purchased this IOTV from the military surplus market. Ice Age Ecosystem Integration Thermoregulation is the next night vision. Since our inception, we've asserted that eliminating temperature constraints in combat can be as transformative as operating in complete darkness. Thus, our Ice Age ecosystem of thermoregulation and hydration tools is central to this Insight series. Despite its age, the IOTV is fully compatible with our Ice Age ecosystem and is designed, in part, to modernize older plate carriers. Our system's cooling, heating, and hydration core, the ice plate curve, can be mounted internally via the IMS Versa for conductive cooling and heating and to provide 50 fluid ounces of hydration. Additionally, the IMS can be attached externally on the rear plate bag for hydration or in tandem with the IMS Versa combo for a combined total of 100 fluid ounces of hydration. One member of the IMS family that is not compatible is the IMS Pro. This is due to the IOTV lacking internal loop Velcro or Molly field. Catamaran effectively creates ventilation between the plate bags and your body for convective cooling using Ice Fence Classic ventilation pontoons. Ice Fence Aero and Ice Fence Classic shoulder pads also seamlessly integrate with the IOTV. YouTube shows that only 8% of our viewers are subscribed. Subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated and help us foster a culture of better informed end users. Weight significantly affects human performance. Every ounce adds up and every pound matters. This is a well-known fact particularly among those using body armor systems like the IOTV. One of the most common complaints about the IOTV system is its weight. Given that the IOTV is a modular, scalable system, we'll measure two configurations, one for the plate carrier alone, and another with the additional collar, deltoid, back, and groin protection add-ons. Note that these weights do not include the softer hard armor. Dry, with just the front and rear plate bags and cummerbund, the IOTV weighs 58.4 ounces, or 3.65 pounds. When fully equipped with all the protective add-ons, the IOTV weighs 131.2 ounces, or 8.2 pounds. To see how this compares to other carriers like our Iceplate Exo, Cry Precision JPC 2.0, Cry Precision ABS, or Shaw Concepts Arc V3, check out our Best Plate Carriers 2024 article and video. We've compiled one of the most comprehensive databases of plate carrier data to ensure you have all the information needed to make an informed decision. Does wet weight matter more than dry weight? It depends on your mission. Whether dealing with salt water or sweat, a plate carrier's ability to repel and shed water weight quickly can significantly affect operator performance. When wet, the IOTV with just the plate bags and cummerbund weighs 82.4 ounces, or 5.15 pounds. 
With all the protective add-ons, it comes to 171.2 ounces, or 10.7 pounds. For those who have seen our technical plate carrier overview series, you know our testing method is straightforward and consistent across all plate carriers. Submerge the carrier in water for 60 minutes. Hang it to dry for 60 seconds. Record the weight. All tests are conducted in our controlled HQ2 facility in Knoxville, Tennessee to eliminate external variables like sunlight and wind. Materials. The improved Outer Tactical Vest, or IOTV, is constructed using multiple robust materials. It incorporates nylon webbing and hook and loop fasteners for durability and secure attachment. The external shell is made from heavy-duty nylon, providing abrasion resistance. Foam padding is included to reduce impact, while various fasteners and adjustment points ensure a secure and customizable fit. Price. Price is the least important factor when choosing a plate carrier, as it concerns life-saving equipment. The IOTV Gen 4 we are reviewing can be found on the surplus market for approximately $1,200 to $1,500, including deltoid protector assemblies and a groin protector. Prices can vary based on condition, and purchasing just the plate bags and cummerbund can cost between $500 and $800. This makes the IOTV the most expensive plate carrier we have reviewed in our Insight series thus far. Thermal Transmittance what is thermal transmittance and why does it matter for plate carriers? Thermal transmittance is the rate at which heat passes through a material. For plate carriers, it relates to the body-facing side of the plate carrier plate bag. Well-insulated materials, such as walls or winter jackets, have low thermal transmittance and effectively protect against external temperature changes, making them suitable for environments like homes, vehicles, or cold weather gear. In contrast, materials with high thermal transmittance are advantageous for active gear, like running clothes, PT outfits, combat uniforms, or plate carriers, as they allow the body to release excess heat generated during physical activity. Tactical gear inherently provides some insulation, so selecting equipment, especially plate carriers and body armor, with high thermal transmittance is crucial. This allows your body's natural cooling processes to function efficiently, helping you manage body temperature independently of your gear. This is essential for preventing heat-related issues and maintaining effectiveness in the field. Some plate carriers, like our Iceplate Exo Gen 3, enhance your body's thermal regulation, boosting performance. For those lacking this feature, integrating items from our Ice Age ecosystem such as the IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Ice Fence, and Catamaran can improve thermal efficiency, comfort, and performance. For a detailed understanding of heat transfer methods and their relevance to your gear, check out the infographics in our Insights blog article, The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in the show notes below. For those interested in the specifics of our thermal transmittance testing methodology, here is our experimental design. Take a FLIR camera surface reading of the body facing side of the plate bags at room temperature. Place a single ice plate curve fresh from the freezer into the plate bag. Close the plate bag and place a hard armor plate on top for 30 seconds to simulate wearing the plate carrier. This short exposure tests efficiency, not capacity. Remove the hard armor plate from the surface, and finally take a new FLIR surface temperature reading. Interpreting these numbers is straightforward. The smaller the difference between the initial surface temperature and the room temperature reading, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. This means the carrier traps and retains more heat, making you hotter. Conversely, a larger difference indicates higher thermal transmittance, allowing the plate carrier to dissipate heat more effectively and letting your body's thermal regulation mechanisms function more naturally. The IOTV's baseline surface temperature is 84.1 degrees Fahrenheit and the ice plate inside surface temperature averages 63.8 degrees Fahrenheit, resulting in a thermal shift of 20.3 degrees Fahrenheit. The table below shows how the IOTV compares to other plate carriers tested. Despite its bulkier design, the IOTV performed well in this test due to the thin material used for the plate bag's body facing side, allowing for efficient heat transfer. This performance would vary with the included soft armor panels, adding more material through which heat needs to escape, so we decided to include that testing also. With the soft armor panels inserted, the IOTV's baseline surface temperature is 83.55 degrees Fahrenheit. With the frozen ice plate inside, the surface temperature comes in at 82.88 degrees Fahrenheit. This gives us a thermal shift of 0.75 degrees Fahrenheit, a completely different outcome compared to the test without the soft armor. This additional test was crucial because the IOTV can be configured from a plate carrier setup with hard rifle rated plates for ballistic threats to a comprehensive body armor system with both soft and hard armor designed to protect against bullets, frag, and trap. Depending on your operational needs, the inclusion of soft armor may be necessary. However, it's important to note that it significantly affects thermal transmittance. Unique features. The IOTV boasts several unique features designed for enhanced functionality and safety. One standout feature is its concealed lanyard which allows for rapid disassembly of the entire armor system. This quick release mechanism is crucial for emergencies, such as when the wearer falls into water or needs to escape a hazardous situation. 
It also facilitates faster access for medical personnel to reach and treat injuries, addressing a significant limitation in the previous interceptor system. Another key feature of the IOTV is its scalability in meeting various threat levels. It includes optional components such as neck and throat protection, groin protection, and deltoid protectors. These can be added or removed based on the mission or threat environment specific requirements, providing customizable user protection. Attachment Mechanisms The IOTV allows for Velcro, Molly, and Swift Clip compatibility. The IOTV does not have zipper back panel compatibility. Variety the IOTV was made originally in UCP camouflage, with later generations made in the multicam-like operational camouflage pattern, or OCP, also known as Scorpion W2. Sizing adjustability. The IOTV is available in various sizes to fit different body types and ensure proper protection. The available sizes include extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, medium long, large long, extra large long, 2x large, 3x large, and 4x large. The shoulder straps have 8.25 inches of adjustability, and the cummerbund has 4.37 inches of adjustability. The IOTV can accept eSAPI plates in sizes extra small through extra large, with each plate corresponding to the specific body armor sizes to ensure comprehensive ballistic protection for different body types. Country of origin. Country of origin is a critical consideration when selecting a plate carrier. Country of origin is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. The IOTV is manufactured in the United States by various defense contractors such as BAE Systems and Point Blank Enterprises, ensuring compliance with U.S. regulations like the Barry Amendment, which mandates domestic production for military body armor. That concludes our technical overview of the IOTV. In contexts such as near-peer conflicts involving artillery, like the war in Ukraine, the modular protection in the IOTV offers can be invaluable. For others, the added weight and bulk might impact performance and survival. Your specific use case will determine which equipment best suits your needs. We hope you found this overview both informative and enjoyable. Have you been issued an IOTV or are you currently using one? We'd love to hear about your experiences. Share your stories and insights in the comments below. To stay updated on the latest in all aspect thermal regulation and more, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and subscribe to our Launchpad email list. Join us in building a superhuman future. Until next time, stay frosty.